Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Uh, so if you haven't already guessed, this is a tutorial on how to look like Maleficent, um, who is probably, I think, the scariest Disney villain of all time. Um, I haven't seen the new movie yet, but hopefully I'll see it soon. I did see Sleeping Beauty, I think, maybe twice in my whole entire life because it scared me so bad that I'm just like traumatized for life. I can't even like Maleficent scares the living out of me. <laughs> um, so this tutorial you will learn how to look like Maleficent and this is not particularly the Angelina Jolie look but um, there are some some parts of it that kind of are like um, her beauty mark that I did up here um, but it's kind of a combination of both the original cartoon character and Angelina Jolie's flesh and blood kind of a character. Um, I made these horns that are kind of hard to see and that wig is, is horrible. This is an awful, terrible, terrible wig. Um, uh, yeah, the horns are really tall, they're hard to see, but I'll zoom out so that you can see what they look like. I like them tall. Um, what I did was I sculpted out um, some styrofoam pyramids into these horn shapes and then wrapped it with black yarn <laughs> and hot glue and attached them to um, just a plain plastic headband and then I also wrapped that in black yarn. And then the wig is from Halloween Express, um, but it's I think it's the French Kiss wigs, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really remember. Um, and then the Widow's Peak I added in there, which you'll see in a little bit. So as you can see, there's some very uh, like hardcore sharp contouring and some very hardcore arched eyebrows. Now I'm not... Um, I'm not sucking my cheeks in or anything. Um, this is what contouring actually does to your face. So, um, I mean, I definitely wouldn't wear something this harsh uh, day to day, but for Maleficent, it's absolutely perfect, I think. And as you can see on the eyes, um, this is where I kind of went with the cartoon. Uh, I used purples and then green underneath to kind of play off of her green skin in the original Disney movie. And um, yeah, there's my awesome widow's peak <laughs> and a little beauty mark to um, give a little nod to Angelina Jolie. And the lips, which are also a nod to Angelina because they're a lot larger than my natural lips. I just drew outside the um, line with some lip liner, which you will see later on in the video. And yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to see how to get this Maleficent look, just stay tuned. First, apply a primer to help your makeup last longer. Then use a stippling brush to apply your lightest shade of foundation. Conceal any blemishes and set with a powder for that matte finish. Next, it's time for contouring. I'm using Sculpt from MAC's Maleficent line. With the help of a tapered face brush, I'm going to start contouring my cheeks. You can make the fish face to help you out. This look is highly exaggerated, so don't be afraid to pack it on. Don't forget about the forehead, jawline, and the bridge of the nose. We want a consistency in our shading. Using Max Beauty Powder in Natural and a large fluffy face brush, I'm going to start highlighting the high points of my cheeks. This really helps give that sharp, angular look. Now let's move on to brows. I'm using a dark brown brow pencil for Makeup Forever. First, I'm outlining the shape I want, making sure I put in the high arch point. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of my brows and use an angled brush to smooth everything out. <gasps> Intense! 
Now for some color. Using Color Tattoo by Maybelline New York in Painted Purple and a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to cover my entire eyelid. That's right, all the way up to the brow. This will also act as an eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm going to take the bright purple color from Colored Rain's Alter Ego Palette and apply it in a wing shape to my lids with a flat shader brush. Then gently blend out the edges. Using Urban Decay's Electric Palette, I'm applying Freak underneath my eyes with a pencil brush. Now for Maleficent's signature winged eyeliner. I'm using MAC's Rapid Black Pen Eyeliner. I find it easier to apply than gel. Next, apply a pair of super dramatic false eyelashes and also apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Last step, as always, is the lips. I'm using Max Lip Liner in red, that's with two D's, to line my Angelina lips. This calls for some serious overdrawing. Fill in your lips to help your lipstick last longer. Apply True Love's Kiss from MAC for the perfect shade of red. Top it all off with MAC's Anthurium Lip Gloss. Here's the finished look pre-costume. Draw a guideline in the center of your forehead to help you with your widow's peak. Trace the peak out and fill it in. I'm using Gel Eyeliner from MAC. Then, using my MAC eyeliner pen, I'm going to draw in my beauty mark. And I'm done! Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I wonder what duck face would look like.